to my channel. We're doing a little bit of Christmas crafting today with the Tonic Studios Stamp Club. Um, stamp, die set, stencil, all the things. It's really cute this month. It's the, uh, I think it's called Snowmies, Little Snowmies Stamp Club. You get these little snowmen, which are a little family of snowmen. There's a lot of fun images. Um, I made this little, um, I don't know what you call it, gate fold card or you know whatever it opens in the front so I put my little snow me family in the front here and I'm adding my little sentiment on a vellum band that you just slip over to keep it shut it says chillin with my snow me's I think that was really cute so this is one card that I've already made and I also went ahead and made one of those what do you call it 3d shadow box cards but I didn't use a die for this. I just used paper that I measured, cut, glue together. So I wanna give you kind of an idea of how you can make this card if you don't even have a die. So I'm gonna show you some tips on making something like this and a few fun ideas to kind of brighten it up for Christmas or winter, whatever you wanna do. This one says, you are snow much fun. Don't you just love the puns? All right, so I'm gonna switch you to my desk cam and show you the stamp set, the die set, the stencil, and what we can do with them. All right, so I've got the stamps here, the dies here, the stencil here. So what we have with this stamp set is these cute little images. You've got a few snowmen on a sled. You've got a snowman family and some trees here with some uh, snowflakes, some stars, and a ton of fun sentiments. You've got sending warm holiday hugs, chilling with my snowmies, hey snowmie. And then you've got can't wait to, I'm so glad I get to, I wish I could. And you can pair any of those with chill with you this holiday season. Also, thanks snow much, and you are snow much fun. So I just really love the cute, playful feel of this stamp set this month. The uh, snow families with the pun, punny sentiments, I think they're just really cute. So along with that, you get the coordinating dies. So you can use these dies to cut out the little pieces here, cut out a little snowman family and the trees. You can also cut out some presents, some prezies here that you can layer on top of your cards and your projects. And one thing I really like about the Tonic Stamp Club Stamps and Die sets is you can also get, along with the coordinating dies that coordinate with the stamps, you also get some standalone dies. So they've got a bunch of other dies in here that cut out things like um, snowman arms, makes me think of Olaf here with the little stick arms. They've got, um, you know, pieces that you can cut out a hat and a scarf, little mug so that you can give a snowman a cup of tea or coffee or whatever you want to give him. I'm a coffee person myself, but no judgment. And so there's also like these little hat dies and some earmuffs little layering pieces that you can layer these together to make fun little accessories and you can also cut out like the circle shapes for a body if you want to make a snowman so you get the coordinating dies that go with the stamps but you also get all of these sort of standalone dies that you can build your own snowman with so i really think that's fun and i've noticed that tonic has been doing that with a lot of their dies sets with the stamp club giving you dies that coordinate with the stamps but also giving you dies that you can just use on your own to create backgrounds or other little pieces to put on your cards so i really love that i appreciate that and i love this stamp and die combo this month so there's the stamps there's the dies and there's a little stencil you can use it to stencil some of these fun snowflakes on a background or some of this sort of scattered snow pattern I've used that pattern here on this card. If you can kind of see it, if I tip it in the light, I stenciled on some glacier paste to give these 
snowman, a little snowy background. So I thought that was really fun. And I love the white snow against that blue cardstock. I think it just looks really fun. So like I mentioned, I wanted to give you an idea of how to make a little 3D pop-up card like this that also folds flat so you can stick it in an envelope. This is about four and a quarter. So I measured the back to be about the width of a regular size card. So this is four and a quarter. It's going to match up with this card here. Now, one thing that you're going to have to remember is that if you want to put it in an envelope and you want to um, fold it like this, it's gonna, if you wanna put it in an A2 size envelope, it has to be about four and a quarter by five and a half. So this is a little bit too long for that. Now I can use this in an A10 envelope or I can just deliver it by hand, no problem. There's a lot of different envelopes that you can stick this in. You could even find a five by seven envelope because it would, it would uh, fit in there really, really easily. So if you look here, this is five by seven. So a five by seven envelope would fit this size as well. But when you're cutting, you might just want to consider what size envelope you have and you know what you want it to fit in. I'm just going to copy these dimensions today just because I wanted to show you what I did, but I just thought it might be worth giving you guys some ideas on thinking about what dimensions you're going to want your little 3d pop-up card to be when you're finished with it. So if I leave my sides about two and a quarter, I'm going to score my first line at two and a quarter. And this is going to become my side of my card. So I'm gonna fold that up here and you can see it's gonna be one of these sides. Then I wanna leave about four and a quarter in the background. So a quarter will bring me to two inches and then if I add four inches onto that, that should be six and a half. So I'm gonna score here at six and a half. And that should leave that background about four and a quarter, which it is. So now I have my second line scored and I wanna add another two and a quarter inches so that it's even with this side. So that would make it six and a half seven and a half, eight and a half, eight and three quarters. And I hope I did all my math right. We'll find out. So this last score line here is actually going to be the line where I'm going to cut my card. So I'm gonna grab my little um, paper trimmer here, cut my card just along that line. And I should have the beginnings of my little 3D box kind of card thing. So I'm going to score this at two and a quarter. Wait a minute, I have to go this way. Two and a quarter, I'm gonna score it right here. And that is also going to be my cut line. Let me just, yep, that matches up. It was just looking a little, a little small but I guess that's the size I went with. Like I said, I kind of made all of this up. So, okay. So we're here we have the beginnings of our little 3D card. So this is going to be the back and the sides, and I'm going to now cut some pieces to go on the inside. Now you can see I have one, two little pieces, little strips that I put on the inside. I'm gonna set this aside and figure out what I want to do here. Now I know this is um, two and a quarter tall, so I want my other pieces to be shorter. And I know that this is four and a quarter wide, so I want it to be at least four and a quarter wide, but add a little bit on the ends so that I can fold it and glue it on the inside. Let's see how we did. Let's see how all of my math turned out for all of my pieces. So this is going to be that front piece, which fits nicely. And this is going to be on the inside. So this is how it will be assembled. Just like that. Looks a little bit wonky right now. 
but I'm gonna add some tape adhesive and just adhere all of this together. So that's really all the adhesive you're going to need. I'm going to actually go ahead and put my front piece on. I don't think it really matters which order you do this, but I just want to make this line it up here with the front and add your pieces on. And I want to make sure it's lined up before I really stick it down because once this stuff sticks, it's, it's pretty, pretty much where you put it. So I'm going to bend this a little bit, get it kind of where I want it. Now that I can stand everything up, I can make sure it's just all um, level and straight. And I will have made my cute little box. Now one thing that I did with this one, you don't have to do it, is I took a corner rounder and I rounded those edges. I have nice rounded corners makes it look a little bit more finished all right and now if you notice on this one it looks a little bit snowy and before i put all my other pieces on i added some of that snow by using some nouveau chalk mousse and a brush i'm gonna just peel this back i put a little bit of press and seal over my different tonic and nouveau mousses mousse mousse whatever the plural of mousse is, it may just be mousse. I put some press and seal over it so that it keeps it um, from drying out because they do dry out from time to time if you don't use them up fast enough. Um, sometimes you can mix them with a little water, but I notice that press and seal really kind of helps seal them a little bit better. So I'm just gonna take my brush here and just shove it into this chalk mousse, get a little bit of that picked up and I'm going to just kind of punch it, tap it onto my card, and it gives it this really fun, textured, snowy look, just like that. So I'm actually going to let that dry. So after I got all of my pieces stamped and colored and dried, ready to add onto my card, I'm just going to go ahead and start gluing them on. So I'm gonna kind of follow what I did here, just kind of make a duplicate, but I do have a different family. They're not on sleds this time. This is the snowman family. So I'm gonna go ahead and just glue them on. So for this one, I just took some of my Nuvo liquid glue and glued it on. I'm gonna put these here in the front. is totally cute I love it all right so you can see our scene coming together here with our first one I added a sentiment in the background and I did that by gluing it onto a tree and then the other side if you can see there's a piece of clear acetate that I glued to the panel here and then I glued to this, so it's kind of helping to hold it up because there's no tree on that side. Or if you prefer not to add it into the forest, you could do it down here, which actually is kind of cute. I do kind of like that. And I might actually put it on some foam adhesive. And now that I have the background full of foam adhesive, I'm just gonna stick this right beneath my snow family my snow fam 
So that is basically how you make one of these 3D card kind of thingies. Um, really fun to make. And this one I also embellished with some more gems just to give it some sparkle. I cut out some sparkly um, snowflakes to glue onto the trees and I put a little star on the tree in the back. So there are still some fun ways that you can zhuzh up your card. You can even add a little bit of twine and I might actually just do that. I think that might look really cute on that tree in the front. So let me add a little bow. But otherwise, I would call this card done, unless you wanna zhuzh it up a bit with some more embellishments. But hopefully that gives you a good look at this month's stamp club with the little snow me's friends on there. So super cute. Love the stamps and the dies. Love all the um, options that it gives you for crafting, whether you wanna make 3D cards or just regular A2 size cards, or if you wanna put some of this stuff on tags or gifts, super cute. Lots of fun things to do with these snowmen. And it's nice that you can use it for Christmas or you can just do winter themed cards. Um, I think all of that would be really fun. So thank you so much for stopping by. If you liked this video, if it's given you some ideas and inspiration, make sure you tap that um, bell for notifications so you never miss another video from me. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, do all the things. Have a really happy winter coming up, Christmas, um, and thanks for watching. Happy crafting. Go. Go craft now. Now that you have all the inspiration, just go. Do all the things. <laughs>